Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I'm actually very excited because this is a story that I have been wanting to talk about since last week, and I was gonna come in strong and do it Monday. My body had other plans. I cannot get sick right now. I have way too much to do. So we're gonna do it anyway. Today we're talking about Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. They are getting divorced. You might have seen that if you have been on the internet for the last five or six days because it is all that has been on my TikTok for you page. And it might not be a surprise for other people if you are a fan of the Jonas Brothers because apparently Joe Jonas had not been wearing his wedding ring on tour for the last few stops. <gasps> drama. But before I get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or a vlog episode. And if you forgot, you can now get a matching signed poster from me. You can have your comment section, and then you can have your off the clock poster. It is the night mode version. And if you want to check it out, you can click the link in the description below. Okay, so for the last couple of weeks, rumors have been circulating that Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner were on the rocks. Now, obviously, you have to take tabloids with a grain of salt. So I was like, oh, I mean, how true could that actually be? because they have been this poster child of a love story for years now. Oh my God, they're so cute. You know, short king, Joe Jonas won. He's with beautiful Queen of the North, Sophie Turner. This relationship is perfect. They have two adorable children. You know, they made all those TikToks during COVID. They're so perfect. If they divorce, I don't believe in love anymore. That's basically what was all over social media. They are divorcing though. Joe Jonas officially filed. And right before that, people started noticing that he had not been wearing his wedding ring on tour, like I said earlier. But then guys, the day before he filed for divorce, he randomly put the ring back on. So then everybody was like, oh my God, Thank God, he must have just forgot. Maybe he was getting it clean, maybe it was broken, but then he filed. What the hell's going on over here? So then everybody was all confused, everybody was up in a tizzy, and it just seems like a weird coincidence that he would not wear it, then make sure he was seen in it right before he files for divorce. Just seems like odd timing, but the PR experts on social media think that this is some sort of strategy. Now, like I said, the reports of them being on the rocks and divorce started rolling out last week, stating that she likes to party and he likes to stay at home. They have very different lifestyles and that is why they need to divorce. Now, everybody on social media was saying, this is Joe Jonas's camp. He is going to the tabloids first. He is trying to pit everybody against Sophie Turner and make himself look like the perfect doting father, the perfect husband. Oh, look, he's putting on his wedding ring right before he files for divorce. That's what everybody is thinking. Here's an article from TMZ. TMZ broke the story. The couple has been having problems for around six months. Joe has been shopping for divorce lawyers for at least a week. He filed in Florida. And then as why Joe filed, a source with the direct knowledge tells us this. She likes to party. He likes to stay at home. They have very different lifestyles. Now, from the first glance, if I knew nothing about them, I can't say that I would have noticed anything weird about this. Like, it seems like a normal TMZ article reporting on the divorce of a celebrity couple. It's obviously going to be messy because it's celebrity drama and they are in the public eye and that makes everything more complicated. But then the internet started doing some digging and there seems to be an alternative motive here. Somebody tweeted and said, you can't fool me. I have two media and communication degrees. I know exactly what this is. Again, people started speculating that this was targeted. This is strategy from Joe Jonas's team. And this is where it all started. Random fans and PR experts alike started putting it together that it seemed like Joe Jonas was trying to paint the picture that he was a better person and maybe a better parent than her by spreading information to the press that she's this crazy partier, she's too young to be a parent, she's irresponsible, she's going off and shooting movies in England. Well, he just loves being at home with his family or that she's not taking care of her kids because he's having to bring them on tour because Sophie is busy filming a movie. And in my opinion, it seems like the kids going with either of them would not be a great option because they are not at home. They are focused on their jobs. Like you really can't win in that scenario. Here's an article. Sophie was busy on set filming this summer. So Joe and Sophie figured this setup would be best for the kids. Sophie and Joe's children have been with Joe while he's touring because he's surrounded by family and it's nice for the kids to be around their aunts, uncles, and cousins. And so you know what? Maybe that was the best option in this lose-lose situation because that does seem like a lot of common sense. But that doesn't really excuse him allegedly going out and telling the tabloids that she is some crazy party or an irresponsible mother or any of that. And if that is not enough evidence that he is on some damn PR tour right now trying to be the most responsible single father of the year. He literally called paparazzi the day after the divorce was filed to catch him on a little brunch date with his daughters. Oh, snap. 
An important note here is that their children are rarely photographed by the press. And if they are, their faces are blurred out, they're covered, they're, they're like physically trying to hide them from paparazzi. And now with this, Joe is like high-fiving them. This is so amazing, playing games over the lunch table. Like, look how amazing I am. Oh, I'm, we're having such, we're such a happy family. Everything is totally, totally fine. Watch this TikTok. Joe Jonas stitches wedding ring, dines with daughters after filing for divorce from Sophie Turner. While I do believe this is a nanny because she's carrying the backpack. He called back rid. This was intentional. They're out. I'll show you the pictures, but they're out with Sophie's daughters. This is the day after he filed for divorce and started smearing her. In it's the so press. intentional as a child of divorce. Sorry, this just like gets me emotional. This is just really shitty. Joe Jonas was in dad mode. Exactly what he wants everyone to think. But that's why I'm doing the blind items. In his first public outing since filing from divorce from jo Sophie Turner, the Jonas Brothers member was photographed carrying his three-year-old daughter Willa into Sweet Butter Kitchen while an unidentified female companion held his one-year-old whose name has yet to be released. They literally have a child who is one years old that they have not even told the press her name. Nobody knows her name. She is not photographed. People didn't even know that Sophie had had a second baby. They didn't even know the baby had been born for a while. And suddenly it's like, oh, yes, here we are. Here are all the children. We are all so happy and so healthy and totally fine without Sophie. Stinks. The whole situation stinks. Somebody commented and said, thoughts are he's trying to fight for custody to keep them in the U.S. That's an important note because I think it was only a couple of months ago or maybe even last month. They did an interview or Sophie did an interview where she said that she'd always envisioned moving back to the U.K. and raising her kids in England and giving them the same type of upbringing that she had, the same type of, you know, English education that she had. While Joe obviously wants to stay in the U.S. with his brothers and his family touring, making all of his music. And so they were having fights about that. And she was like, oh, I guess I really have to like convince Joe. So if they're going to split up, she's obviously going to want to go back to her family, go back to England and give her daughters the life that she wants. Maybe this is something you should have discussed before you got married. Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. Somebody else commented and said, I thought they didn't want the kids in the press. Who is he trying to hurt, his ex-wife or his kids? Now, some may ask the question, like, how can you just assume that Joe is making this stuff up? Or how would we even know if that is the truth or not? Like, whether she is some crazy party or maybe she is, you know, somebody who loves going out and is, you know, a distracted mother. And Joe just doesn't like that because he likes to stay in. You know, he's such a great family. I look at him. Well, we would know this because they have told us multiple times. Now, I have to be honest. When I first saw the story coming out, I was like, oh, Sophie Turner, how could he do that? And I was more on his side because I was thinking, OK, she is younger. He's in his 30s now. I think they got married when she was 23. She's much younger than he is. You know, maybe she's just wanted to go out. I saw a couple of stories like from an alleged friend of her saying, yeah, Sophie just wants to go out and live her life. And I was like, OK, that's stupid. You are a mother now. You need to settle down. I don't care if you feel like you missed out on your crazy 20s. You have responsibilities. But then people on social media started bringing up these old clips where they have told us multiple times that she is, and I quote, a homebody and loves to stay in while Sophie can't keep up with Joe, who is a social butterfly. Watch these. This business of staying home, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm, an, I'm a homebody. I just like, I, I, if I could stay at home all day, I would. So this is great for me. I leave the house like once a day anyway to walk my dogs and then that's it. So Nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how people are, I see how people are finding it difficult, but I, I don't understand how people are really struggling to practice social distancing. Right. I'm like, all you have to do is stay at home. But that's not all, because then she says this. Joe and I, it's actually kind of, everything seems to be working out in my favor here because Joe's like a, he's a real social butterfly. So I struggle to kind of lock him down and have him just spend time with me. She struggles to lock him down. So obviously this interview, because it was over Zoom, was filmed during COVID. They're talking about the lockdowns. She unironically and unapologetically loved the lockdowns because it gave her an excuse to not leave the house. And she was having a great time because she did not have to see anybody. Meanwhile, her social butterfly husband was like a caged bird 
trying to get out of the house because he is so lively, so social, and did not just want to be home with her and their one daughter, who they had at the time. To be honest, it probably would have been even easier for her if she had had a My Patriot Supply food kit for that first week when all the grocery store shelves were barren. Because in a world filled with uncertainties, one shocking headline spreads panic like wildfire, and grocery stores are empty within hours, like we saw in 2020. It's crucial to be ready for whatever comes your way, and having a reliable food storage system can provide you with peace of mind and the assurance that you and your loved ones will be well taken care of. Right now, with My Patriot Supply, you'll save $200 on a three-month emergency food kit to help stock your supply. Your three-month emergency food kit provides over 2,000 calories each day for optimal strength and energy in stressful situations. You can enjoy a wide variety of My Patriot Supply food, from buttermilk pancakes to chicken alfredo to rice pudding. Their meals have you covered for every part of your day. And the best part is that each meal is actually delicious. It's better to have an emergency food supply and not need it than to need it and not have it. So do not wait for disaster to strike before taking action. Invest in you and your family's safety and well-being by securing your food storage today. Go to preparewithbrett.com and get $200 in savings with each kit that your family needs. Again, that's preparewithbrett.com and hopefully that will help us all be a lot more prepared than we were for this divorce. And then to add to this, they posted this on TikTok together, both agreeing that she is the homebody in the relationship. An old video has resurfaced of Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner now that the divorce rumors are sorted. Who's the homebody in the relationship? This video is from 2020 and it definitely juxtaposes what was said in the TMZ art. So TMZ's report about Joe Jonas filing for divorce. And that is basically all you need to know. Then she just rehashes everything we already talked about, but that is an interview where they're doing one of those trends like, mm, who kissed who first? Who likes doing this? Who's the homebody? They both point at Sophie Turner. Joe, your PR team might be working overtime to get this divorce to work in your favor, but maybe they should have gone back in the archives to make sure their story was straight. Maybe you need to hire a better team, is all I'm saying. Somebody commented and said, literally nobody believes that she is partying. Somebody else said, why couldn't the public reason be, we just don't love each other anymore, why make it such a mess? Somebody else said, sometimes, Joe, it's best to be silent. The other part of the story that was interesting, and this kind of came out a couple of days later, is that while Joe has been on tour, Sophie has been in the UK filming a new project, and they got photos of her at a rap party and they filmed her and they showed pictures of her like being crazy being out with friends and the tabloids were circulating them saying look at her yeah she's being such a crazy partier this is so awful and then the owner of that bar made a video saying hey no this was a private event it was just for this cast and crew it was a rap party it really wasn't that big of a deal she was super nice it was a rap party. They were having a good time. Like she was celebrating finishing a project with people that she has just worked with very intimately and very closely for the entire summer. And like, she's not even allowed to celebrate that without being deemed some unfit mother who is out partying. Like she's not allowed to just celebrate. It's, it's just so, so weird. And this just seems like a bad way of handling a divorce, especially when there are kids involved because they will see all of this in the press one day. You are already celebrities. You are already famous. Their lives are already forever changed because of what you do for work. And that is not your fault. That is fine. You were doing everything you could to protect them by keeping them out of the press, but you totally blew that up when you called the paparazzi and when you made this a huge public ordeal. Like, they're going to grow up and have some bad taste in their mouth about either of their parents because of what has been written about them and because of what their teams are feeding to the press. However, this might all work out in Sophie Turner's favor, and this TikTok right here breaks it down well. While we're all hurting over this uncoupling, let me tell you why Sophie Turner is winning. The uncoupling? Are we really using that word still? Anytime an article comes out like this and it's speaking on behalf of one celebrity saying, sources are saying, I've always believed that source is coming from that person's camp. And if you don't know who Molly McPherson is, she does crisis management PR and these two videos are about Joe Jonas and I would recommend watching it. When these articles are saying, sources say he's taking care of the kids, he's a homebody, she likes to party. Again, I truly believe this is coming from his team. If it is coming from his team, then that means they're trying to paint Sophie Turner in a bad light. So why is Sophie Turner winning? because she's saying nothing. We have yet to hear one article say, sources are saying Joe Jonas did this. Now that TikTok came out a week ago, and at the time that it came out, I was totally behind Sophie. I was bought in. I was like, yes, you stay silent. You stay above it all. Just, you know, keep your head high. Do not say anything. Again, for the sake of your children, because if he is going low, if he's calling the paparazzi, just don't do it. But then, Again, we don't know if it's her or somebody trying to stir the pot, but an article did come out saying Joe Jonas 
allegedly, you know, started problems after they had their second child, was pressuring her to attend events while she was, you know, recently postpartum and she was struggling with depression and anxiety. That's when their marital problems really started to blow up. Obviously, right now, this is all he said. She said, it's so new. They just filed. But for the sake of their children, I hope that this all works out and that it stops being just so messy because I think the one thing that everybody can agree on that is a fact is that none of this is good for the children. Whether they are playing these attacks or whether it's their PR team or other people stirring up the pot, this does not bode well for their family whatsoever. The other thing that I think has been really interesting in just following the story for the last week is that through social media, there has been such an uptick in media literacy and seeing through the games that celebrities in Hollywood play. So hopefully this brings us all back down to earth and helps us not idolize them and their relationship so much because it's not all it's cracked up to be. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.